now we will look into DSM-5 uh, diagnostic criteria. We have looked at features. We have looked into the major categorization. We have looked into the types. Now we will look look into the DSM-5 criteria. The DSM-5 diagnostic criteria for substance related and addictive disorders. Kya hai? Isme, um, sabse pehle main aapko wo criteria bataungi jo ki similar hai. Then we will move on to individual criteria. So there are there, there is common criteria for some of the disorders jo ki maine idhar they are listed here. That is alcohol use disorder, uh, cannabis use disorder, um, phenylalanine um, use disorder. Now this is a very interesting component which is actually also known as hallucinogens. I mean, it's it's generate hallucinations. So, iski wajah se, uh, and this is synthetic. This is more of a pharmaceutical drug. Yeh uh, medicine to nahi kahenge, drug hi kahenge. And then other hallucinogen uh, use disorders, inhalant use disorder, opiate use disorder, sedative, hypnotic, or anxiolytic use disorder. So, in saaron ka ek similar criteria jo ab ab ham dekhne ja rahe hain. Wo similar criteria A. A problematic pattern of use leading to clinically significant impairment or distress by at least two of the following occurring within our 12 months period. Uh, so, a criteria is that problematic pattern of use, that means that problematic pattern will be when it will continue to use it and it will be used for 12 months. And it will be used for this before, but one has to see Okay, this is the time when you will be diagnosing people. Impairment or distress by at least two of the following symptoms. What are they? Number one, uh, that the certain drug or sub certain substance is often taken in larger amount or over a longer period than was intended. Jo initially usne uska khayal tha ke main itni le lunga aur uske baad chhod dunga. Wo aisa hua nahi, balki wo longer period ke liye usse lena pada. Second, persistent desire. Or unsuccessful effort to cut down or control use. Koshish ki usne ke mein chhod dun. Koshish bhi thi, khahish bhi thi, lekin aisa hua nahi. A great deal of time is spent in activities necessary to obtain, use or recover from its effect. So, ya to wo lene mein, khareedne mein, ya hasil karne mein, phir usse use karne mein, phir uske effect se nikalne mein hi uska time jo hai, wo zyada tar spend hota hai. Number four is craving. Or a strong desire or urge to use that particular substance. Then there is recurrent use resulting in a failure to fulfill major role obligations. It can be in school, it can be work, it can be home. So, jitni bhi major uski age related kare ya uske role related obligations hai, wo individual is unable to meet. Then is continued use despite having persistent or recurrent social or interpersonal problems caused or exacerbated by use. Um, now the individual knows that it's creating problem for me. In individual knows that it's affecting me. It's affecting my social functioning. It's affecting my relationship. My job is finished. My children are leaving. My home is in trouble. My body is so affected. My health is so affected. But the individual doesn't quit. He continues using it. Seven. Uh, important social, occupational or recreational activities are given up or reduced. If you remember, the jo humne substance, substance use disorder ke andar, uh, sim, uh, dekhe hai unke features, actually ye wohi criteria hai, more or less. Then eight, rec recurrent use in situations in which it is physically hazardous. Aise situations jin ke andar wo apne apko risk pe dal sakta hai, jo uske liye dangerous ho sakta hai. Uh, for example, driving um, while under effect of drug. Then use in continued uh, is continued despite knowledge of having a persistent or recurrent physical or psychological problems that is likely to have been caused or exacerbated by use of the drug. So, now see how much focus or emphasis is on use because it is not being used. 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 It is not being and finally, there is tolerance as well as withdrawal. We have covered tolerance and withdrawal quite a bit of time, so I will just not go into the detail. So these are, this is the diagnostic criteria by DSM for diagnosing any, this is the common or similar criteria for all those substances which we have uh, covered now. And I have told you that you have to discuss this common, so this is 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 common